after they had one of the worst openings in DC box office history and then blamed it on the weather, DC was hoping to have a big recovery for this weekend. And there's some sites that are trying to spin this second weekend for Blue Beetle some sort of massive positive. But in all reality, it's just more confirmation that Blue Beetle is about to be a $100 million loss for Warner Brothers. Blue Beetle scores solid second weekend at the box office thanks to National Cinema Day. And as we were talking about earlier, Jeremy, with these like super cheap tickets, a lot of people saw big boosts this weekend. When you look at Barbie, when you look at Oppenheimer, when you look at virtually everything out there, had bigger weekends than people expected because of all the big discounts for National Cinema Day and people flocking to the box office. But when you look at the weekend's numbers, here you go. Gran Turismo just barely edged out Barbie. And then Blue Beetle down there at third with about a 50% drop. And there's a couple <laughs> ways to look at this, right? Is that it had one of the best holds in DC history after having a <laughs> miserable opening weekend. Or it's one of the worst second weekends in DC box office history. But regardless, <laughs> exhibitor relations, this is kind of the, the appropriate way to look at it. That 49% hold for Blue Beetle would look good for a superhero flick as long as it opened big and wasn't in a marketplace where no other film in the top five dropped more than 29%. Ouch again. And it's true. Look at the holds from these things. Oppenheimer, 16%. Barbie, 19%. MI7, 24%. Meg 2, 25%. Ninja Turtles, 29%. Yet Blue Beetle drops about 50%. Mm -hmm. All of these were boosted big time by the National Cinema Day stuff. But unfortunately, they can't escape the reality that this is estimated to bring in somewhere between $140, $160 million worldwide because the international numbers are pathetically low, which would mean, once again, you have another $100 million flop, a $100 million loss for a DC movie. Yeah, this is a complete and total disaster, and there's no way to spin it, especially after you see all of those holds from films. Like, what has Barbie and Oppenheimer been out now? Four or five weeks, six weeks now? What is it? Yeah, this is the sixth weekend, I think, for Barbie. Sixth week. Sixth Same. weekend for Oppenheimer, yeah. right? Like 16% drop. Even like, you have to go down to Strays in the top 10, which also came out last week, which fell 44%. Not as much as Blue Beetle, but like, look at these, uh, these very, very solid holds because of the incentives to go to the theater mm -hmm. this weekend. So that probably changed Blue Beetle from a 60% drop to a 50% drop somewhere around mm -hmm. there. But that number, that's not going to get it done. No. The international number this weekend was $10 million for around 81 total, like worldwide cum right now. And that is just it's not enough to make any money. Well, I recall my good friend Zack Snyder tweeting out that representation matters to when he was trying to promote Blue Beetle before it came out. And clearly the audience doesn't agree with you, Zach. Clearly the masses don't agree that representation doesn't matter. In fact, you know what does matter? Good movies. Representation is irrelevant. Good movies does matter. And people are sick and tired of this nonsense. Would you classify it as a woke movie? Yeah. I would. There is this narrative throughout the entire thing of brown people are oppressed by rich white people. <laughs> like that it's it's inescapable. It's throughout the entire movie. It's not like it's some great movie that's really ruined by that. It's a very mediocre, bland, stupid fucking movie that wasn't very good that is further damaged by the identity politics behind it. This is just a more of the same we see, but but this is different in, in a lot of ways too. More of the same for DC, but most DC movies are not woke. Most DC movies, they may have minor woke elements to them or something like that. But Yeah, you might not like a casting or a specific thing, yeah. but in terms of the overall like premise of it, there's, mm -hmm. seems, there's not typically nearly as much messaging as there as has Marvel. been in recent Marvel movies. Absolutely. I, I agree with that. Absolutely, and so that's kind kind of interesting that now you've got a woke DC movie and that's kind of taking the the worst of both worlds DC on the decline not over identity politics necessarily just out of a convoluted mess and no real vision and you've seen diminishing returns and now they've added a woke element to it while they're at their lowest and you see the result the result is the worst <laughs> film they've ever had released in the dceu so it makes perfect sense from that standpoint when you're already in decline and then you add wokeness to it <laughs> you get blue beetle that's what you get